Kids Leap Island, unlocking every child's potential. Stay connected for your transformational children's stories and fun learning videos. Hello kids. Today we're going to learn about measuring time. Understanding time is important to succeeding in life. Understanding time helps you to plan and stay organized. Measuring your time accurately also minimizes the chances of missing out on important things. Just imagine being invited to a party on a Saturday at 11 a.m. and you managed to wake up at 9 a.m. You took your time to brush and bathe and have your breakfast and get ready for the party. By the time you finished, it was already 10.50. But it takes a 20-minute walk to get to your friend's house, and Mummy is not ready yet to take you. Aww. Because she expects you to let her know when to get ready. Sadly, the party is only for an hour. By the time Mummy is ready, it's already be 11 o'clock, and by the time you walk to your friend's house, it would be 11.20, meaning you are left with only 40 minutes of fun. Aww. So we need to understand time and know how to measure it. Now, how do we measure time? You measure things you can do quickly in seconds. It takes roughly one second to say the word tap, so you can count in taps. This is not an exact second, but it will be close. We use clock to measure time. This is a clock. This is the second hand, which is the fastest hand. And this is the minute hand. The shortest one is the hour hand. And there are 60 seconds in one minute. It takes 60 seconds for the second hand to go all the way around the clock. As you can see, it is the fastest hand. Now watch this. Can you see the second hand? With this, you can measure seconds on a clock. Each tick is one second. Measuring minutes. You measure things that take longer than 60 seconds in minutes. This includes things like eating your lunch, brushing your teeth, bathing, reading, and playing with a toy. Question time. Clocks have three hands, a second hand, a minute hand, and an hour hand. Which is the second hand? This is the second hand. A minute is about half the time it takes to brush your teeth because you should brush your teeth for two minutes. You can also measure minutes on a clock. Can you see the minute hand? Each of the tiny lines on the clock is a minute. So when the minute hand moves from one line to another, it is counted in minutes. Let's count the minute lines. One minute. Two minutes. Three minutes. Four minutes, and five minutes. Measuring hours. You measure activities that take longer than 60 minutes in hours. Things that take hours include the amount of time you spend sleeping at night, time you spend in school, and the time you spend reading a long book. You can measure hours on a clock. Can you see the hour hand? There are 24 hours in one day. Clocks only show 12-hour intervals, so the hour hand must go around twice to complete one day. 12 hours plus 12 hours equals 24 hours. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. We have other useful videos on how to tell the time. If you haven't seen them yet, they can be found on our playlist on time.